Hey everybody, welcome back to Creating Cool Stuff at Mountain View Farms. Today we are making pickles. Uh, we have made them before using the lime and all the ingredients and we have found a better way. <laughs> this is Mrs. Wages and these are fantastic. They have all the ingredients you need except for the vinegar in there. And all you have to do is cut up your pickles or cut up your cucumbers. Uh, we use a mandolin lots of times if we're gonna slice them. And then uh, we put them in the jars and uh, put the get the mixture going over there and then we uh, put that in the jars with them. Now, one of the things we also use is this uh, pickling crisp granules. That makes the pickles crisp every time. No soggy pickles for us. And this has lasted a long time. We have had this for years and it still works. It's a lifesaver. Yes, it's <laughs> nice. So uh, we are, like I said, cutting in spears and the mandolin's gonna do the job on the chips and we are getting started. We just cut the cucumbers in half and then we cut it from there. If it's really big, we'll get three out of it, three spears. Otherwise, oh, Chris is getting four out of this one. <laughs> uh, otherwise, we just cut it in half for the smaller ones and leave it. But there you go. Normally, we stuff these right into the jars instead of putting them in this pan here. But we had new jars uh, and some old ones I bought at an estate sale. So uh, we had to wash those first and sterilize them. So they are in the dishwasher at this time. So we're cutting the cucumbers up first and then we will get them stuffed into the jars. All right, now we're using the mandolin to cut into little chips. Um, so what you do is you just take the, you set your size to whatever size you want. We have it on the largest size. Um, and then you just scrape down. You need to be careful because this is a sharp blade. So once you get close to the end, you take the safety guard and finish out the rest. And then once you're done, you have all these little chips. It makes cutting them a lot faster. And they're all the same size. Absolutely. Awesome. Our jars are clean and sterilized. Got a full of it. Steam coming out. I don't know if you could tell or not. Okay, ready to go. We are now putting the cucumbers over there into jars. And we just stuff as many in there as will go. We are having to cut some of them that are way too long. <laughs> yes. Having to uh, either cut those in half or cut the tips off. We've got one jar that we're just putting some, you know, ends of it in there. So we're just comparing it to the jar there and either if it's really big, cut it in half or put the tips in here. But we stuff as many as we can in the jar. We are about to start with the pickling process. We're gonna do dill pickles for the first ones. Um, this is what it calls for. Your cucumbers, the vinegar, water, and of course this package. You're gonna also need something to get the liquid out with and a pot to actually put it in. So we are about to get that started. All right, we have a double batch here in the pan of the dill pickles and this is what it looks like and you just have to stir constantly until you've got it to a bowl and you need to do this over medium heat because you don't want anything to scorch or you know stick to the bottom or anything and once it starts boiling, we will put it in our jar. Right now we're adding the crisper in. It is a fourth of a teaspoon for a quart. 
So we're just going in, adding it to every single jar before we add the juice. All right, we have got our jar lids bowling. So it softens up the ring a little bit. We've got the, the cucumbers in the jar and the liquid's done. So now we're just gonna put the liquid in the jars. Just get the lid out of there. Oh, sorry. Wipe the ram. <laughs> there you go. Now we have already put some water into the canner and you do not actually have to use a canner. You can use a uh, regular pot that has something in the bottom, some kind of rack that it doesn't get uh, on the direct heat. But this one is a hard water bowl. It is not pressure canned. So it's a lot easier. It doesn't take up as much time either. All right, now that we have them all in there, we're gonna completely cover it with water. And then we'll put the lid on and get it going. All right, we've got our bowl it bowling in there. And it should be at a rolling bowl very shortly. And we have left ours in the pressure canner and put the lid on. You do not have to do that. Once it gets to be a rolling bowl, it's just a matter of the timing. So we've put our timer on for 15 minutes and we've just got to wait it out. The uh, pickles now have processed for 15 minutes. They have sat for an additional five minutes. Now we are going to take them out and uh, put them on the counter uh, so they can cool. Okay, we now take the jars out here with this jar lifter, handy dandy the little thing. And we usually pour that water off the top and then make sure you don't hit your toes if you have on flip flops and you put it on your island counter wherever you're gonna be cooling. This is the end product. We did some kosher dill and regular dill. And actually kosher dill is one of our very favorites from the Mrs. Wages little packets. So this is what we have done today. Glad to get it done. I'm sure we'll be making more. And they look great. So these have to sit uh, from 12 to 24 hours. Uh, they say it's best if you wait 24 hours to try one. So I uh, think we can do it. Thanks for tuning in.